Vice News spoke to the soldiers deployed to the southern border to stop this migrant caravan that's like hundreds of miles away. Um, and you're going to see the sheer lunacy of Trump's fear-mongering about immigrants and refugees. Check this out. There are now about a thousand active duty soldiers in Texas's Rio Grande Valley. Most of them are here at base camp Donna, 10 miles east of McAllen. They're some of the 5,200 troops President Trump deployed in response to the Central American migrant caravan. Just watch the, uh, the cameras if you go in. Okay. The Army gave Vice News and other media outlets a tour of the base. Many of these soldiers have served in Iraq and Afghanistan. Life on one base is a lot like life on any other, except here there is no enemy to fight. Still, just in case, there is a fully equipped medical tent. Have you had to treat people since you've been here? So no, no major trauma or anything like that. Uh, it's mostly, um, you know, mosquito bites and uh, chiggers and stuff. But it's not a comfortable duty. It's been unseasonably cold and wet. And there's constant noise from generators and diesel engines. And the troops have almost nothing to do. A federal law known as the Posse Comitatus Act prevents the troops from enforcing immigration laws. The migrant caravan they're supposed to be responding to is weeks away in Mexico City. And according to our reporters on the ground, it's headed to Tijuana, 1,500 miles to the west. Everything we saw on this tour today is pretty much infrastructure and material to support the presence of the troops here. But I still don't totally understand why the troops are here. What is the, the point of this base? Okay, so the mission that we've been given is to provide mission-enhancing capabilities to the Customs and Border Protection folks. And what does that actually entail? Support in what way? Customs and Border Protection folks work with us. They identify areas that they would like us to harden. And by harden, I mean in place those uh, concertina barriers. Uh, th we then work with our soldiers and make sure that we put the right equipment I mean, you can see the staging area over here. We put the equipment on the trucks and move out to those locations and install it safely and, uh, and then move back here and wait for the next uh, request for support from uh, Customs and Border Protection. But installing razor wire is not enough to occupy a thousand troops. Most of the time, Base Camp Donna is there for its own sake. The person in charge of making sure it runs smoothly is known as the Base Camp Mayor. As we come through, we are anticipating a bulk fuel point in the back, so you might see some engineer equipment back there doing some... Here, that's that Captain Lauren Blanton, a 32-year-old Army engineer from Oklahoma City. Before she built this base, Captain Blanton helped break them down in Afghanistan in 2012 and 13. Have they given you a sense of how long you can expect to be here? As long as there's still a need for us, we will be here. I'm sorry to ask this so bluntly. Do you feel genuinely like there is a need for you to be here right now? That, that's my personal opinion. Um, I'm not really here to talk about my personal feelings. I'm here to talk about my job. I mean, I, I have feelings, but again, that's, that's not really what I'm here to do. Can you tell us your feelings? No. So this is just a giant political stunt. That's what it is. You don't need to send the military to the border to try to stop people who are uh, poor and desperate from coming into the country. Now, I'm not saying literally every single one of them, no questions asked, gets to stay here. But there's a process that happens. So they show up, and then there's a process that begins. Some of them will be allowed to stay here. Some of them won't be allowed to stay here. This idea that this is, like, so out of the ordinary and crazy. I mean, they're coming from countries that have been absolutely destroyed by the drug war and by poverty. And many of them do feel like, oh my God, we have to leave or we might get killed. Now, they're going to determine who's in that camp and who's not in that camp, and then everything will uh, go accordingly. But this idea of like, just oh, send the military. I mean, what a giant political stunt and a waste of taxpayer money. And now you have these people away from their families for the holidays. Doesn't look too comfortable to me sitting in these fucking tents with uh, very little forms of entertainment. I mean, look at what... It's just insane that people could look at Trump doing this and they think, that's a serious person doing a serious thing. And, um, you know, he's a badass who's looking out for us. No, he's not. He's a charlatan doing a political stunt to try to shore up his base in the election. And to some extent, it worked. 
But, and by the way, notice, how many times has, has Trump tweeted about the caravan since the election? I don't think he did it at all. I don't think he did it once. It, it was all a political stunt, a trick, for, uh, to try to get Republicans elected. Because he knows that they care deeply about the issue of immigration. So here we are. <laughs> Imagine, uh, you know, a rank political trick to this extent done by a Democrat and how they would react. But we know that this is what this is and nobody even talks about it. Like the media pretended like this was serious. Like, oh, yes, he has to stop the caravan and he's going to send all, all, all of our all these troops to the southern border for no goddamn reason. But it's not for no reason because he's being a serious person protecting our borders. What a joke. The media in this country sucks. The leadership in this country is ridiculous to pull a political stunt like this. And I get the sense that everybody who was sent there knows. They know. Really? Customs and Border Protection couldn't handle it? Their fucking job is border protection. They couldn't handle it? You need to send the military. Fuck off.